She says her life went from being the picture of health to a shadow of her former self. I want to bring in Brianne right now and her lawyer, Aaron Siri, because I have a, a question for him, too. Um, Brianne, I want people to understand what has happened to you and why you're doing this. Thank you for being with us. Uh, but customarily, I will ignore counsel as much as, as I can, but not this time. Aaron, I have a question. Um, uh, as, as a lawyer, is Brianne at all compromised in her ability to go after AstraZeneca because she volunteered for a clinical trial as opposed to just being someone like me or you who got it when it was made available to the public and we were told to take it? No, I don't think that compromises her at all. I think she's subject to the same restrictions on bringing lawsuits for the most part that you, Chris, or anybody else that was injured from a COVID vaccine. And that's the PrEP Act. That's the federal government explicitly giving the vaccine manufacturers immunity for any injury that occurred from the COVID vaccine. And they didn't just do it, by the way, after the vaccine came out. They free gave the immunity. They gave that immunity to them before they even developed the vaccine and did so contractually as well as right. doing so by law. Right. Now, look, we know what that debate is going to be, and I think it's a good one to have, which is, well, they were asking us to rush it, says the companies. You know, ordinarily, it would have taken longer, so we needed some type of protection. Let's put it to the side. Brianne, uh, you, you look great. So explain to the audience, what are you actually dealing with, uh, and how has life changed for you so much that you feel you need to litigate this? Well, you know, the easiest way to explain this is that it's an invisible illness. I mean, we all look fine, right? We're, we're not in a wheelchair. We still have hair. You know, we can still smile and communicate sometimes clearly. Um, but the reality is, is I am in pain every second of every day. Uh, unfortunately, I have a severe progressive neuropathy that will continue to progress until my life is done. Um, it's it's something that is a very sharp tingling um, electrical sensation, and it courses through my body 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But in addition to that, I have the tinnitus like Sean does. I have the food sensitivities. Um, I'm completely dependent on other people. In my home, uh, I have, at the time, I had a six and an eight-year-old kid, and their lives, you know, our lives revolved around them. Mom took care of everything for them. But now, unfortunately, everything revolves around mom. They have to figure out if mom can help them that day with their homework, if mom can make them breakfast, if mom's going to be able to get out of bed, is mom going to be able to take them to school? These are all very simple tasks that people take for granted. But when your health is robbed from you, you know, those things are now things that you have to prioritize from one day to the next, depending on how your body is doing. When you reported... Uh, this set of events to the company, what was the response? <laughs> silence. It's that simple. It was silence. Um, I thought that they were going to be there to help me in my contract. They state it explicitly that they will be there to help me uh, financially as well as medically. And they didn't either. Um, it's, it's as if they couldn't get away from me fast enough after I report, reported my injury. Um, I'm nothing more than a number to them, to be totally honest. Well, it's hard to feel otherwise when they didn't reach out, right? Um, what other message yeah. does it send? Well, look, let me give you a, a little dirty secret that I'm sure Aaron uh, explained to you about litigation. Litigation is about time and who has the most time and who has the resources uh, to extend time. Uh, what I can do here in the media is promise you, I don't forget, okay? I don't forget. So until this ends, we're always a phone call away. I'm not saying that everything you say is right and everything is wrong. I got to look at everything. But I will say this. I will follow the process to its to conclusion. And AstraZeneca, you are going to get a suggestion to come on this show. And I want to understand why you wouldn't have even reached out to somebody who you'd made a deal with. Uh, Brianne, we are here for the duration, and I wish you the best with your family. Counsel, we're always a call away for any developments that you believe uh, are instructive of the process.
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.